In these problems, we're being given the graphs of some basic functions and asked to translate them into these new functions. So we want to draw the graph for these changed functions. And what's happening on both of these is that um, there's a change that happens inside either the parentheses or the absolute value symbol. So here's a minus 1 inside the absolute value symbol and a change outside. Um, so here's a minus 3. The thing to remember is that the changes inside the parentheses or the absolute value symbols are going to move the graph left and right. And if it's a negative value, it's going to move it to the right. If it's a positive value, it's going to move it to the left. The change outside, the number added or subtracted outside, is going to move it up or down. And a positive number is going to move it up. A negative number is going to move it down. And probably the best way to start with each of these is to look at the vertex. So here's our vertex at 0, 0. We're going to have this change. It's negative, so it's going to move it to the right. And it's 1, so it's going to move it to the right one unit. So our vertex would be here after that change. And then this is outside the absolute value symbol, so it's going to move it down 3. So we'll move that down 3. And we've got our new vertex right here. You can pick a couple other points and do the same thing and then sketch in the graph, like so. All right, let's try this next one. Uh, it says, uh, here's the graph of y equals negative x squared, and translate it to make the graph of y equals negative quantity x minus 4 squared plus 2. So let's start by looking inside the parentheses. We've got a negative 4, so we're going to move to the right again, this time 4 units. So let's take the vertex and move it 4 units to the right. And then we're going to move it up 2 because we've got, we've got a positive 2 outside the parentheses. So up 2. So there's our new vertex. And then you can grab another point or two um, to graph and, um, and then just sketch in your graph like so. So that is a little bit of work with uh, translating functions when there are both vertical and horizontal changes uh, to the functions.